what it all comes down to, isn't it? Single smoke at a flat flashbang on Blameth, and he's got a P250. Complexity did a lot on that second map to get it through. Finally, Rush is going to be taken out. It's time with the C set 75, and now Shock's actually in a bit. Big, big, oh, he's going to let someone through. He did spot it out, so it's going to be called in, and Obo gets caught by Saibu. Good information, good communication coming out from Vitality. Thought maybe that was a brief mistake, but it clearly wasn't. And Misuta, Ooh. instant double headshot as they come through the door down at the lower bomb side. So early pistol round win for Vitality. I think we, we touched on it a little bit on Mirage. Blame F's uh, role on this team, how he often is playing alone away from the action. I'm really interesting to see if he's going to have the stones to do that against Vitality here. Remember, you're going to have Zaiwu outside frequently with the AWP. And also, what we saw out of Vitality yesterday against FaZe on Nuke specifically, a lot of mid-round aggression in these lobby crunches. If Complexity is playing these rounds too slow, Vitality is going to take initiative themselves. And this can get tough for a young team to be able to coordinate all those moving parts across the map. Yeah, there are a lot of lot of different parts that really have to come together right now for complexity. Obviously, Obo and Poison with a great second map, but I'd still love to see just a bit more of the config. Blamef has had a really good a couple of new games so far, so it could be fun to see some resurgence here. And another big question is obviously, has Saiwu managed to, to cool off in this, or is he going to continue at that blazing hot pace? Apex with a nice find here, and Poison's gonna go straight down, so no early advantage here for Complexity in the second round. Ooh, but Blamer is fighting his way back in. All right, tapping away, Zaiwu outside adds another. Oboe and Config, the last two remaining, and Oboe is gonna fall as well. There's that late mid-round aggression. Not a full-blown lobby crunch, obviously, but a nice little push-up from Shox, which we've seen as well. Config uh, with the FAMAS, the last one remaining. 40 seconds on the clock, and I think this should be a pretty near impossible one versus three to win. But again, damage at this stage of the map is the name of the game. Limiting that CT economy early on on Nuke is so, so important. Yeah, one more kill here would definitely be really helpful. He's got 20 seconds, so... Bit rough on config. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to keep the FAMAS and the armor. So far, he's still being a bit aggressive. So it looks like he's made up his mind that he wants to fight to the death at this point in time. And he's going to get his wish RPK granting that. So teammates coming out from Vitality in a pretty decent second round, I'd say, all things considered. And Complexity will have to wait a little bit longer. No bomb plant or anything. So they can't really put the pressure on just yet. Hmm. I wonder if, because Complexity would have seen the game that Vitality and FaZe played on this very map earlier in the day. And there were some, there were some key takeaways. I mean, some of the aggression outside that we saw, we I mean, we had a lot to, to, to look at for, uh, for Vitality on the CT side. Ooh. Aggression behind the smoke. Just and again, just pistols. I, I'm I'm really curious to see how Apex and Zywoo are going to play this because every time we've seen Vitality and some of their most impressive games in this tournament and even here in these grand finals, it's been like, wow, what a game plan they came into this with. They feel like yeah. they're a step or two ahead of their opposition. And it, I mean, again, it feels like they should be able to exploit what Complexity likes to do outside once the gun rounds begin. No follow-up from Obo. It's a little bit late as Zywoo spends all of his clip, all of his... Yeah, clip on uh, on the first player. Man, I don't really get the clip versus magazine stuff, Anders. I, I stumbled through that one. Well, I almost feel like it's worth saying clip all the time just to annoy the people that, <laughs> that just <laughs> insist, you know? Like, actually... I've been, I've been trying to figure it out so I could be, uh, so I can be on point not to trigger them, but maybe you have the better, maybe you have the better angle. No, go the other way. It's not worth it. it, it like, there's no, nothing is lost in sync. I know... I technically, I do know what a clip is as opposed to a magazine, but who cares? It's, it's just not important, <laughs> is it? <laughs> um, no, not the reason, at all. The reason we say clip is it's just much easier to say in a sentence. That, so sorry about it. Like, it's, it's fine. It's all fine. Uh, so every, fourth, everyone's going to have to deal with it. Yeah, they just will. Uh, fourth round is going to be coming up here. And um, yeah, you're right. The game plan so far, Vitality, has really looked amazing on... Uh, pretty much every map we've seen, so a lot is going to have to be figured out here for Complexity. We'll see. I feel like they, they, they got warmed up on that second map. They were starting to look a lot better, 
I still think there's more to come, so let's see if they can bring it here early on. It's Shogs taking down one, and actually, oh, Oppo getting the kill, but Rush also took down Masuta over at the lobby, so kind of a big win here for Complexity early on in the fourth round. Not done yet, though. Apex is still waiting down here just with the FAMAS, but still, at the right angle, he could get a great kill to set this up. Oh, he's got nobody down here with him either. Zaiwu is going to be going up to heaven. RPK still on the upper bomb site. They're being very cautious of complexity flying up the vents. And if they meet too much resistance, if Apex gets this first kill, they might just fall back. Here's the spin. Oh, Obo might have heard it, but he couldn't react in time. It's Blame F still. Apex never saw it. Bomb is on the ground. Still 5 HP on Rush. And Zaiwu and RPK now rotating to ramp room to get involved. Man, he was so close to open the door and close it behind him again. No one could even react. 40 seconds on the clock, and Saiwu got to be very careful. He's a dangerous position to be in. There's the face showing from Config, but he's going to live through the initial fight. 20 to 35 seconds. RPK is going to be going down after that one kill, and now they have to fight Saiwu. They don't have a grenade, or actually a Molotov, maybe. They could take him down almost with that. He's got to be careful. He's running through oh, no. it, and he goes down. I don't know if he realized how close that was to him, but that's a very, very good win for Complexity. Finally beating Saiwu. He yeah, it feels like he might, I don't know. I thought he should have had more than enough time to react to that Molotov coming in. He heard it for a good second and still stuck with the peak. Even if he gets a kill there, he's going down. Nice attempt at the recovery for Vitality. And remember as well, that was a round that came in with some FAMAS, some SMGs as well. So now is a really powerful buy. M4s on the board. AWP in the hands of Zaiwu. It looks like Shox is stuck on a USP though. He forgot to buy. He's got 3,500. He's going to be very surprised. Let's see what he does to improvise this. He's oh. never going to make it back and buy time. Okay, so a little bit of a gift to complexity. This gets interesting. Oh, dear. That you do hate to see that. You do hate to see it. That does not happen very often. It's like a Leal on Obo, and there's three people on the Vitality side that do not have head armor. So um, just a tiny detail to think about from, uh, from maybe a little bit later on in the round here. I'm so confused. This it is the final map in a in a very very big finals. You don't want to be forgetting to buy <laughs> rifles. That's not good. We'll see how much of an impact it's actually going to have when it comes down to it. Looks like it's going to be a huge execute towards the A bomb site. Sometimes these things turn into sort of a run towards the uh, ramp instead once the grenades are in, but no, they're going to be forcing Masuta off the hut, and RPK is very flashed, and once they swing against him, they're going to take him down. Nice shot from Apex, but Poison through the smoke to take one down, and here's Shox. He's just hunting for a gun. <laughs> the Molotov will force him into the fight, and he is going to be going down. Oh dear, oh dear. Nice round from Poison. A triple kill on him. He's such a champion right now. And that bodes well for Complexity in this half of Counter-Strike on the offensive side of Nuke. Their upper hits are so powerful. We've seen it against Team, and time after time, they are able to get into that upper bomb site so effectively. It helps, obviously, Poison hitting shots through the smoke. That's not going to be given to you every single time, but... Man, if you can crack that upper bomb site early on, it's going to make Vitality very nervous to rotate out of it later on. It's an interesting beginning to this third map. Maybe it was just me, but I was I was still in the back of my mind thinking a little bit about whether or not we would be a similar kind of situation as to the one that we saw in Vertigo with the French team just exploding off to a start. But that has not really happened. It's a, I think that's a good sign all across the board. Complexity building confidence in the second map and and coming back into it early on here before Vitality can really get up and running. Nice stack outside. This is what we love. This is some, this is some 1.6 uh, type stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well worth it. Oh, uh, well, it's given up the game, obviously. And then they'll try and rotate in. Actually, those flames didn't quite catch Apex as much as they would have liked. But it is indeed a slaughter from here. Or maybe not as much of a slaughter as I would have thought. The deal gets nothing done, and the bomb should be going down. Complexity is going to get away with... A few players surviving. So, all tied up. Yeah, Poison handling things on his own there. So they'll get the AKs and the AWP into the next round. But yeah, tied up, and we'll see. 
I really enjoyed the way that Vitality were playing with Apex down at mini when they were playing against FaZe earlier, and he was sort of, he was able to be fairly aggressive with the Orga there, sniping away a couple of kills. That was one of the delightful things to see. Could see some sort of return of that. Yeah, that'd be great to have it back. I think the, the interesting part is if Complexity keeps having success at the upper bomb site, Vitality might be forced to commit more players to hold that. And at least not at this point, Zaiwu gets aggressive and finds a pick with the AWP. I believe that was in towards Hut and finds Rush and Lobby. And now he's downstairs. He's gotten here so quick. I think Complexity, if they move forward, they're going to be in a world of hurt. If they fall back, Apex is in a powerful position in Warehouse. He's jumping past. They knew that he was there. Again, it's the same position he was playing against FaZe. So it's not such a surprise. This time they're going to trade him pretty effectively. But it's a three on four. And a good chance now for Vitality to uh, maybe get a back into the lead. And I think more importantly, really start to build the economy, which is so important on that CT side. Saibu and Shocks are both down here. It's a nice little dual setup. Leaves the A-bomb side a little bit weaker, but they're going to be pushing forward, looking for a kill. And they're about a second away from catching it. There's a free one on Poison. That's a nice little hit. Man, Zaiwu just so confident to walk upstairs. He even heard the footstep. He could, have, he could have retreated with the information, and that would have been a win in its own regard, but he gets everything. He gets the kill as well. So blame F and Oboe. <laughs> oh, that's... We heard it. We didn't see it. It sounded great. One tap. And where do... Where do Complexity go? To the lower bomb site. 28 seconds left. Vitality has Masuta in the upper bomb site with RPK, and it's Shocks down low at the double doors. And Complexity doesn't have any time to clear this out. If they try and get this plant, Shocks can put his top to it and win by time. Yes, he, they basically have to have one guy planting, another gun fighting for it, and, and they just have to win that first fight, or it's going to be over. He's setting it up. The, actually, oh, the bomb does go down. That's a bit of a bonus, but it's still a one versus three. I thought that maybe the Molotov would burn him even more. There's the fight, but Shocks will take care of it. Nicely done. Down to full health, and they're back in the lead. Can they find that AWP they somewhere? Wanna... Yeah, they might want to stop the plan and let him go get it. And yeah, you can see Masuta just tapping away at the bomb as RPK hustles to get the op. So Vitality made a lead, and with three players surviving, they get to build some money. I think Shox is going to be able to drop a weapon over to a teammate. So can Masuta or RPK. So they should be all fine for a buy. The complexity as well, going to invest. That plant helps out a good amount, and Poison's got the AWP back in hand. a very important round for Vitality. Saving the guns, especially three of them, especially that AWP. Complexity are going to be happy enough to have had the bomb plant. It allows them to buy two MAC-10s. Could mean they are going to try and play maybe a little bit quicker in this round. Definitely can afford to do so here. Setting up for the same grenades as earlier. Trying to see if they can make their way through and maybe charge RPK, who's on top of the hut. Still there, and they're going to get slaughtered. No Molotov on top of the hut this time. That's what really did it for them last time. And they either failed to throw it or didn't have one. I'm not sure, but they just were nowhere near enough grenades to, to make it into that bomb site. Clean and good round from Vitality, and that is the end of the buy for Complexity. So now the French are starting to uh, get back into the swing of things here. Yeah, that's a massive shutdown for Vitality. Just a couple rounds after Complexity had already just cracked open that bomb site like it was nothing. So good recovery for the A defense. A two-round lead, and as you said, an easier time of things as Complexity is back to pistols. A chance for them to, uh, to grow the money in the bank. And Apex again, he's just going to be chilling in the, in the back of the warehouse for the moment. He's loving this position. I mean, it, it affords him a, a bunch of different things. And as long as he's got Sangu out here as well, it's hard for them to swing and fight him easily. And if he wants to, he could start to move up. Saibu could flash him into a fight. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different variants yeah. in this kind of a play. Yeah, if they smoke, if they do a smoke wall or if they smoke off Zaiwu at these windows, he can always just chuck out a flash at long range into the air. And Apex can get aggressive. Spots the jump across. Apex does the damage. Zaiwu cleans it up for both of those kills. That'll be frustrating for Apex. He wants some kills. He wants some frags. But zaiwu has got three. And again, all five players survive for Vitality. That's two rounds in a row. And before that, it was three players surviving. And none of that bodes well for a complexity team looking to limit the economic growth.
No, but it's really cool to see from Vitality, isn't it? That's, you know, they were under pressure early on, tied up 3-3, and they go on a bit of a streak here, keep the Orps alive, and uh, yeah, keep building back-to-back -back flawless rounds. Just started to look real good. I were at 11 to 6, so not so far slowing down much at all from that. Oh, what a great spray outside, nearly dropping Blame F as he's falling back. Long range, RPK aggressive in the in lobby as well. Hard position to clear, and yeah, they're going to be quick downstairs, and Rush is going to be coming in from the other side. And let's see if they slow this down enough for the rest of Vitality to, to react. Or if they're just going to be fighting the two people that are down here. Oh, that's nice from Rush. He's going to get the one. They need to go. They must know now that they've been found out. If they don't know now, they're going to find out real soon. They got to learn today. Shocks with a double kill. And there's so many Vitality players here. And oh boy, time for a pause in the game. Yeah. Complexity, call a timeout and talk things over. You have lost the plot here. Four straight for Vitality. And Difference, but... I'm really, I really feel like there was a big delay in complexity in making that call. I don't know if they had any other choice. If they wanted to fall back from that, I mean, it would have taken them all day. So I almost felt like just blow open the doors at that point in time and hope you can get there before the rest of Vitality show up. But now we have Tech Nines. Ooh, and they might be able to turn the corner. Blame F can apply some pressure from Mini. This is going to be an upper pinch. Again, the upper defense is going to be tested, but... Ooh, he actually... Is he called a pause? Masuta's looking for just this, but if the hit comes out of the hut, he's going to have to turn. First kill, they swing into his crosshair, and the tank has been so good in this series, he's going to do it again. Double kill for him, two kills for Masuta, and a dangerous attack is swiped aside. Yeah, you, you saw Misuta looking back from that initial flashbang and then right back in the mix here. That's pretty good. I mean, I think if he was flashed in that moment, that could have been where the real danger was. But he gets the couple of kills and buys a little bit of time for RPK to also settle in his aim. So, yeah, some claps are coming and everyone is excited on the Vitality. I can't blame them for it. I think they're playing a really good game right now, showing their strength back in this uh, in this finals. Eight to three right here. As we lead into round number 12, and they need to find a way to turn this around complexity. The three rounds they have, they're a while back now. They need to shut the momentum down if it's even going to be possible at all. Ooh, he's not even going to fall back. His shock just keeps going. Is there going to be a grenade to set him up? Anything to peek this corner? He's thinking about it. Oh, yeah. There's the flashbang, and now comes the turn with the AK out. He's going to spray down one, and Confix on the other side. And Shox might not know. That's actually a bit dangerous. He's almost going to get caught, but not quite. Man, that's the exact same thing they did to FaZe just earlier in the loser final. Wait until the setup throws their nades. You have Shox that close. One pop flash in, and there's, there's no time for Complexity to respond. There's no time for BlameF to get his gun out and know exactly what's coming for him. Vitality are just waiting for the perfect signal of when they can begin their aggression. And Zaiwu is in a perfect position to shut this down as well. Leg shot. He's back here, trapped. See how many people he can take with him. It's going to be a grenade to start with. Pretty good headshot from Poison to take him down afterwards. 30 seconds, though. And they're in a 4 and 3, and they're slowing it down, walking back. If they run, they're going to be hurt, and the call will be made. If they walk, they're leaving themselves very, very little time. So this is going to be hard no matter what. Masuta's waiting down in the vents, and there is RPK still up here. So they're in a lot of trouble. Now, 15 seconds. I don't think they're going to be checking the vents. They're going to have to walk past and take the fight. Big opening there in 10 seconds, and he's crawling up behind them. And this could be the round-winning move. The bomb being planted in front. Oboe's got it covered, though. That's an amazing kill. Saves them at least for a minute now. 2 on 3 and Apex comes in with a huge double kill to take down Rush and Oboe. Now it's just poison. One versus two. He knows there's someone in the corner. He's going to win that fight. And Shocks up on the high ground. And Poison comes in yet again. Time after time. He's going to be able to save them. A triple young player, but such a strong game sense. What a clear of the Raptors with 15 seconds left. If RPK goes unchecked, 
not only does he get a kill 100% of the time, but it makes this flank from Masuta so powerful. I think one weird detail that might have allowed Vitality, uh, or I mean, Complexity to win this round, one of the smokes that was thrown actually hit somebody on Complexity and stopped right at the top of the vent. If that's not there, Masuta has a clear line of sight. They might have just completely lucked out in this round. Not this one, though. Oh. As RPK and Zaiwu shut them down so quickly. Config trying to make a play, I think, just hoping that he could flank in behind and save his team. I like this play, it's, and now they can slow it down a little bit. But this is going to be up to Config to essentially get a couple of really clean kills where he doesn't go down or take too much damage either. And there's already someone walking right underneath him. There's the first one. He gives up his position, but he had to do it. It's a three on three, and I mean, he had no choice. Although someone as crazy as Config, you could have maybe thought that he might have done some trigger discipline and see what he could have gotten, but certainly that was the safe play. RPK's got 18 health right at the entrance to the hut. He'll have to move as the smoke clears, but he moves forward. Oh, and Blamef's ready for it. Now Masuta behind the vent, waiting. First, oh my lord, he doesn't hit a single thing. That is <laughs> a stunning turn of events. I think he would have gone one for one anyways, but the fact that he doesn't even get Blame F means Zaiwu can't go for this. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be marked as one of the absolute critical rounds here in the first half. They probably should have lost this four on three, but somehow they turn it around. That means they get up to five rounds. They do a lot of damage to the vitality economy. Yeah, this is a really, really big deal. If if they win the next one, this whole thing could end 8-7, and I think Vitality were on track to get way more than that. So, what an interesting, just a little tiny uh, kill outside, and then the fact that Blamef gets two, even on 12 health, no one even hit him at the end. Eight to five. Timeout called by Vitality as they try and get back into it. Complexity again. I mean, just showing such an impressive ability to keep themselves in these games. As soon as Vitality starts taking momentum, gaining the lead of the economy, of the scoreline, they went on a five to nothing run. Complexity responds right back. They find a way to make it work. And a chance for these last two rounds. After this next investment from Vitality, money's gonna be pretty sketchy. Masuta's gonna need a gun in this round, so they're gonna dig into the bank. In complexity, this this round right here might be a two for one. If they can win it, they might just get the final two rounds of the half. Yeah, they've I mean they've built nicely into this complexity some a couple of unlikely rounds, but before the last two, it was five in a row for Vitality. 8 to 5 overall here. It's fairly close, but I think it, a lot of it is going to come down to this one. Last money has been spending this one for the French side. And Apex is outside again with his trusty Org. Saibu still has the AWP saved from the previous round. That Org did us so much damage against FaZe earlier. Maybe we'll see it back here again. I think it's one of the tools that Apex has made work the best for him on this map so far. No one downstairs at all here for the Vitality side. They don't really need to be in yet. There's no wall of smokes or anything, so there's no chance that anyone is actually going to be down there. But we'll see who's going to be the rotating party if anything does happen. Ooh. Obo, he is in a I deadly know. position yet. Yeah, this is going to be a free kill, essentially. Now, if he falls off, he could still go down, and <laughs> Saiwu will take down Rush anyway. So, good trade. That's about the third time Zaiwu's gotten a kill from Hut in this half, and that's got to be so annoying. Shocks now. Oh, big risk. Misses the initial salvo, but recovers it nicely with the spray control. And here we go. The hit towards the ramp room is on, and Apex couldn't close the gap in time. Config's got a double kill. Zaiwu and RPK are trying to pick up the pieces. RPK's got to have to drop vents, and Zaiwu has an aggressive angle and squeaky door. But look at the flank from Blame wow. F. Again, all on his own, the other side of the map. This is going to work just perfectly. Zaiwu must turn. He's going to have no idea or win. Really, one more kill and into the bomb site we go. That is such a big kill. Trying to see if he can maybe tag him through. And he swung into the site. Now he's got some backup there. Out of the vents is RPK. They have a bit of a health lead as well. There's a Molotov on Config and that's worth keeping an eye on. Nice shot from Poison. He's rock solid in this finals. He's been playing an amazing series so far. Now it's the CC. He's going to get the one kill shot in the back. And Config will take him down. A triple for the Danish player. As complexity to get up to six rounds. 
and destroy the economy of Vitality leading into the final round of the half. What a turnaround three rounds this has been for the complexity side. Man, this is this is great. This couldn't have gone any better for complexity down the stretch of this game. Three in a row. They've taken the money advantage. It's an SM, it's two SMGs, a CZ, a FAMAS, and all got Apex. Utilities light. But the nice thing for complexity is they don't have to deal with the AWP. And I think now that they know they have the economic advantage, it's an upper rush. A knockout punch, one would call it. Rush has the first kill, and that opens the floodgates. Complexity is into the upper bomb site. Config's in great position to defend the heaven rotation. And there should be nothing that Vitality can do. Yeah, there are more smokes, more Molotovs. They can block off all the entrances all day long. There's absolutely nothing they can do. You're right to try and get in here. It'd have to be a big mistake for Complexity to allow any kind of a movement forward. And actually, that might just have happened here. Both Poison and Config going down. The grenades are all thrown towards Mini and none of them up at Heaven. So a bit of a clear path here. Blame F will take down Apex. And Saibu still low on health with that CC. He's waiting for the smoke to disappear. Shock's got to be the main charge here. As Saibu goes down, he drops to the low ground and over. Spring. Uh, season blast premiere. This has been, I think, just a, a really, really interesting game. It's been hard for them to battle their way through. I feel like it's still Vitality leading and Complexity trying to keep up. And now the rush into the A-bomb side. Vitality on the T side. Let's see if they can come off to another strong start. They just lost four rounds in a row at the end of the half. So that's a little bit rough as well. Good headshot. And now they're setting up at least with a couple of grenades from up here. Are they going to be able to explode someone down on the low ground? No, they're going to throw them in the wrong direction. But here comes the flood of people from the complexity side. Count to three, and then you all go. One flashbang. Masuta trying to defend. They're all out. Config with the one kill. Poison with another follow-up. He's going to give a big double. And Shocks now flanking in where they just came from. Oh, what? Oh, no. Not even going to get it. The underhand grenade down. It doesn't kill anyone. And he's going to take one headshot. He's fighting as they're defusing. I can't believe it. What an incredible retake coming in here for Complexity. No kit, so are they going to have it in the last second? No, no they won't. It's so close. But they get, they get stolen away at the end. I actually thought he had that. I did too. I did too. I was just priming up to mention how Shox is going to be kicking himself and having nightmares about that clutch because he made the mistakes that complexity needed to win it, and it's just too far gone. I did they have oh. a kid at the start of that pistol? I know they obvious they obviously had smoke flash. I'm assuming there was a kid somewhere. It might have just been dropped up top. Could have been. Oh wow, that is tense. What a way to get started. Blame F gonna get a kill. Poison oh, no. with the scout taking down shocks. Maybe we've got into the round, and people are already dying left and right. They're down on the low uh, low bomb site. And RPK has the bomb, so they get a really quick bomb plant. And actually, that could be enough. There's no kit here on Complexity, and they know what's going on. But still, when you're far enough away with no defuse kit, it could get rough. The problem is they have no idea where any of the Vitality players are. They've all disappeared. One's over at the door. Apex gonna wrap around. And these weapons are mobile. There's a tag. They need to get aggressive. They need players to be attacking forward, finding Vitality. There's the door open and close. RPK one versus three. But again, it's the time is the worst thing for complexity. And even with the nade kill, I don't know if he's gonna have it. He's, I think so. I think he's just got it. I think he's got it. Yeah. This Surely time this it's different. one they have. This time it's different. I'm pretty sure this Don't is jinx it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. For Vitality, though, I mean, that is shocking. I don't even sure how they died in the beginning, but... They tried to make the vent drop, and it was... Uh, well, the Deagle from Blame F, he's just spamming. He's shooting into it. Obviously, nade damage from Config combined with the Deagle. Poison got a scout kill as they tried to drop down into vent. So, man, what a, what a tense round. And this time... Complexity come out on the right side of the bomb timer. <laughs> yeah, shake shake all that bad juju off. <laughs> Three AKs, two deagles. Vitality not going to give up so easily. The bomb plan means they've got a little bit of bonus money to work with, and they want to try and find a way to shut down Complexity before this gets out of hand. Again, on their CT side here, I mean... If they get up and running, you start to get that AWP on Poison, who has been... He's been a rock throughout this best of three, four complexity. If he's top fragging for them right now at 14. Ooh, nice pop flash peek. Good trade from Zaiwu as well. Blame F couldn't handle the spray. Four on four. 
And three AK-47s is pretty dangerous. Oboe's gonna start cheating back from ramp room towards underneath heaven. Poison's still over at the windows. Actually, excuse me, he's on top, and he's gonna win that battle. Zai Wu with no response. Here comes the upper hit, but an SMG on top of Hunt is deadly. Very deadly, but so are the entrance. It's Apex left in a one versus two, and he's gonna go down. All tied up at nine. Another triple to add on top for Poison. Yeah, tied up, nine, nine, no bomb plant. They don't really make any money winning this round, so it's, it's going to be expensive for them. But on the other hand, they shouldn't be losing too many in the upcoming round. A couple of deagles have been picked up here by Vitality, so they could look for some kills. But if they could, if they could make it out, I mean, look at you remember the a couple of rounds in the first half where Vitality had back-to-back -back flawless rounds that built such a big economy, and Complexity would love the similar scenario here. Deep grenade only damages Apex somehow. Playmap is in a good position again for another pop flash, but that's an easy kill. Gonna see a second, third, and fourth, and he gets all of them. Ooh, all right. They all just line up nice and easy for him. One magazine of the M4A1. And uh, just shocks. He's gonna give him a chance for the ace. I, I admire this. Go for that duel. Challenge him. Give him all five. Good round from Playmap. Yeah, he's being a good sport. <laughs> he's just loving it. He's fired up. <laughs> They've got Blame Ev activated now. Yeah, he, he wanted that and he got it. 10 to nine, complexity back in the lead. Some money being picked up here from Vitality, just like a Leal on Apex, but otherwise, They've got the equipment they need to try and do some damage. Shox is going to be rushing all the way outside past the early grenades, expecting some sort of an attack, but they've already fallen quite far back. He was flashed in by a teammate, I think, so if someone had been there, he would have had a, a good shot of it. What do we do now? That's got to be what Vitality's discussing. Shox does like to get over to Secret on his lonesome. There's going to be a gap in this wall, though. Good late Molotov from Complexity. And if they want to cross with all five players, they're going to have to use another one of those valuable smokes. They're going to have to do it quickly. But they're challenging a little bit early, and Blame F is going to get a kill out of it. Well, this is a big problem here. Vitality, that's all the smokes. It's a three on five, but they have really no grenades left. A couple of Molotovs, and now they have to run into Config and this MP9, and he's hearing them falling back. He knows. They saw him, I think. Feels like it. They're actually going back to check, and he's going to come do a bit of damage onto Misuta, but a nice enough kill. 40 seconds, but I'm, I'm still more worried about the grenades that they have left here, Vitality. It's, it's going to be real hard to get a bomb down. Yeah, it should be, I'm not going to say impossible, but it's going to be costly in lives, please, because you don't have the smokes to spend on that. Oboe with an SMG is going to be up close, and there's just so many different places to clear. So instead of going to the lower bombs, it looked like they actually wanted to jump up towards vents. But coming out... Nobo, his time to shine. There's the first, a little bit of damage onto Apex, but a good trade. We're gonna get the bomb plant. There's one Molotov. They have another one as well. If they could win one more fight, maybe this is it. RPK with a big shot taking down Rush. Oh, this would be a turnaround and a half for Vitality. There's a smoke, but RPK is gonna use it to his advantage, hiding inside of it, trying to get the spray through. Poison will still take him down, and now Apex opening the door. He has to run for it. Straight shot to take him down, and there's half a second left. Apex, amazing clutch, a nice triple kill. And Vitality, they needed that round. That is a huge win. That's a massive one as well, especially considering where they were at. What a way to get out of a near impossible situation. Such little utility and vitality focuses on the trades. What a great entrance provided from Apex. And a beautiful one versus two clutch as well. 0.3 seconds yep. remaining. That is close, real close. Pretty deep grenade and a oh, wow, okay, well. Unfortunate start for Shox as he just gets blown up through the smoke. Nothing that he could really do about that. They're downstairs again. Last time it was a four, oh sorry, five on three that they managed to win somehow. And this time it's a four on five. So maybe with a bit of a chance here. Although they're not fighting the two MP9s this time around, which also could be a difference. And Obo made some noise falling back there. Got to be careful about that. Poison's here this time with the op, looking for anyone to peek into his crosshair. 
It's just a pause button. RPK is going to work with this MAC-10. That's a great opening kill. Poison gets shut down. There's the peek from Blame F. He's cleared outside. Vitality have to go forward, but there's smoke and all the choke points. And Obo, oh, does he go through? He's going to try, but uh, it's not convincing. And Apex was waiting. Another good kill from Zaiwu. Somehow trades just keep happening in the favor of Vitality. I think maybe Obo was trying to hide inside of the smoke and just couldn't actually wasn't actually hidden enough. Man, that was uh, that was unfortunate. Two on two though. Let's see if they can get this retake through. They do not currently have a kit picked up, so I don't know if there's one of the ground down there somewhere. No one in that corner, so the Molotov is a little bit of a waste. Smoke off on the one side. None of these grenades are actually helping out complexity that much at the moment, and Saibu's still hidden back here. He's gonna get dropped off, but he's so quick, and he'll take down Blame if Another good follow-up, and another great turnaround. Four on five victory for Vitality, putting them back in the lead at 11 to 10, and also exploding the complexity economy. Man, Vitality deserves these last two rounds. They have been really hard fought to get into the bomb site, and this isn't even them taking advantage of maybe slow or miss rotations from the defense. Complexity is making the right moves, just losing out in the trade battles as Vitality gets into the bomb site. These are really grinded out rounds. Really, really cool to see. Rush and a bunch of people outside. Blame if with the opening. Don't let this one go, Vitality. They lost the, that second round after winning, and they can't do this again. They're stepping on Rush's face, which <laughs> is, I mean, disrespectful. Oh, uh, that's, I mean, that's the worst feeling if you're Rush, because there's really nothing you can do about it to recover that situation, but it also lets you know that you were about, he played that, that situation about as well as you possibly could have. You were like 99% of the way there. Yeah. And now it's just USPs left. Bomb going to be picked up by RPK. Even if Config had found the bomb, I don't think it would have made any difference here. So 12 to 10, the likely score. And I think this, the way the second half has got started, because of sort of the rocky nature of it, the early rounds, the complexity won the three in a row here. They had some of the MP9s in play. I don't think we've really seen the AWP on Poison, and this time he's going to have a scout. So uh, actually, that's one of the things that's sort of, you know, backfiring a little against, against complexity is they keep having just not quite enough money to get that AWP in play. I've seen it. I can recall it, uh, I think, once. But, it, I mean, it, he had it, I think, two rounds ago, but it got deleted, like, immediately upon Vitality's entrance into the lower bomb site. So, I mean, it's yeah. certainly not having the impact they wanted to have that it was having in previous maps. Here we go. Vitality going for their own knockout punch, and they've got the first kill. Poison is going to be frustrated. He should never be the point of contact. But it'll all be good if his teammates can just close this out, and they should be able to. One versus three. No health on shocks. And that is a good recovery for complexity. Yeah, and it actually started really badly. Again, we, we mentioned this earlier in the day when we were watching FaZe and Vitality play on this map. You go for those A attacks, that opening kill is sometimes the only thing you'll need to break it all wide open. But a good recovery even after they uh, went in, and I think RPK opened up with that one. So 11 to 12, no bomb plant, enough money to buy, but that is a bit of a gift. I think that kind of a round is a round you make. You, first of all, you're guessing at the complexity economy and that they won't have enough grenades to, to basically firebomb out that hut so that you can actually make your way out. And they were right about that, but they still couldn't actually convert enough kills at the end there. Yeah, that's it. That's unfortunate. Man, I really like that call, though, too. I mean, that that's a great heads-up call to, to say, yeah. you know, they're just getting back into the swing of things. Money's still not set. The, the Molotovs might be missing. Let's just go for it. And it almost works. One round lead for Vitality. 24 kills on Zywoo, 21 on RPK. It's 20 apiece on Poison and Blame F. Such a close game. The serving of the finals for sure. 24th round, and... Let's see what's going to happen now. This could get real tense. It's gone down to the wire and it's Blame F to open up. Taking down Apex in mini. Trying to get back into the A-bomb site. Conflict falling off the hut, but they're going to be defending the A-bomb site once again. A similar strategy, this time with a little bit of a twist in one guy trying to come in through mini. But they managed to defend it. Confidence building for sure for complexity that they're able to hold this back. This is something that worked incredibly well against FaZe. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really cool hit for Vitality, too, because they realized in the previous round they had they got so deep into the bomb site they realized the tactic worked. This time, obviously, it gets shut down, but the weird thing about it is the bomb was dropped so far back, we just saw Shocks have to go and get it, so even if that strategy worked, it's like, great, we have the bomb site, we're going to have to go all the way back to pick up the bomb first. He's going to at least get the plant in the lower site. The extra $800 is going to be huge. zaiwoo has got $0, Apex at 500 This is going to be so helpful, even more so if one of the most historic players can win another one versus three. They have two smokes, and that is going to make it very hard, but not impossible. Never, ever underestimate Shocks. He's got the lineup for a straight headshot and at least turn it into a one-on-two. That would be the great start here. They have kits on the other side, and he's actually going to be going back, just letting them into the bomb side here. So no quick pickoff. Now he's going to swing for it, but they're inside of the smoke. There's one kill. Kitty gets at the angle. He's almost got it, but not quite. He was a bullet away from making that work. That is so dangerous and a nice effort out of Shocks. Yeah, if he gets that kill onto Poison afterwards, he gets to play that 1v1 so differently. And Blamop has to be that aggressive and make noise, let him know what's coming. And Shocks likely wins that scenario. Almost a near clutch. He comes so low. Regardless, we're all tied up, and Vitality back to pistols. Complexity. I cannot believe their ability to stay in this map. No, they're really fighting heart and soul right now to, to keep this going. That round ended, uh, yeah, in a two-on-one, so that they really had to pay for everything here. And with the bomb plant, a little bit of a half-buy coming in from Vitality. They want to keep the pressure on. They want to take some rifles away. They're going to be buying in the next round, so even if they win this one complexity, it's, it's going to be a fight every step of the way, the way that Vitality have set up their economy here. Config going to be turning the corner. This, this though, is where you also don't want to make any mistakes. If they have a good round, all of a sudden, Vitality won that they steal away, which we know they can, you may yeah. never recover from it. And there's a chance that it's this round. Config going to have to get some headshots here. Molotov is out. A counter Molotov to slow them down. I wonder if they run through it, and for the moment, not. They're held back. But Config is the only player downstairs. If he goes down too quickly, oh, oh this is dangerous. He's going to peek. Of course he is. He blinds himself. He's got to fall back. But that should at least sound the alarm. All coming to rotate in. He can only get the one. They duck underneath his bullets. And now Obo has got to step up. But he misses shots as well. A little bit of panic there. 30 seconds. They really need to think about this bomb plant here. Poison will get a kill on Cyber and bring it back into a three on three. Grenading the smoke, thinking maybe someone was already planting inside of it. RBK is quite far away. And now the clock is really, really playing against Vitality at the moment. 17 seconds. RPK is going to be just taken out. They're going to get a chance here for a bomb plant. I don't think anyone can stop it nearby, but this after plant scenario is doable for complexity, even if Rush is a little bit low on health. We'll have to find out. Shock with another chance. He couldn't clutch it last time, <laughs> but maybe he can this time. He's got Apex with him. They'll have to use Apex as bait. He's going to have to grab the attention, and he's done just that. It's all on yeah. shocks now with the AK. Just that one shot of the pistol. Has them looking the other way, and Shox is waiting on the same side here. That's Apex gone, and now it's another one on three for Shox. Waiting by the door, they're gonna tap the bomb, and they're trying to bodyguard. Oh, timing is key, and oh, Rush, he's so quick on the trigger. Taking him down. Oh, a bullet might have done it there for Shox. The right head shot at the right time, and he could have won it, but it's 13 to 12. It's complexity taking the lead. And Vitality, they're back with a very strong buy. And again, that's that's the issue right now for the complexity side, though, is every round is difficult to win. Well, every round is difficult to win. They're losing some players here and there. Not too bad. They've survived the last last couple rounds pretty well. The real issue is all the plants that Vitality is getting as this losing bonus builds up. It's going to make them... It's going to make their cash continue to swell. It's still very difficult buys. Complexity has very few easy rounds during this stretch. And look at Zaiwu. He doesn't want the smoke wall. He wants to challenge. He might get his opportunity. Flashbang. And ooh, that's a dangerous game. That's a very dangerous game. And now... Now they know. Don't repeat that. Oh, blame if out here. He's looking up. But they don't even check it. Apex not even thinking about looking to his right. I think he would have had that kill easily on blame if he was essentially spotting the mini roof. I guess they assumed the opera was the outside defense, and that was yes. it. But Blame F has been out there close to mini every single round. And I mean, Zaiwu equally just assuming no one's going to be downstairs. 
This is a very curious round for Vitality, and it's given complete massive advantage. Oh, yes, it really has. 55 seconds. Now they're going to come for the ramp where Obo's had very little action. He's going to get some, finally. Not the kind that he was hoping for. 45 seconds. Grenade around the corner. And they need to play for time. This is where you want the fundamentals to come through for complexity. Don't give them another fight here. They have to get onto a bomb site with 30 seconds. Two of them low on health. If they just play smartly here, there's almost no way to lose this. Under 30 seconds as they try and see if they could wrap their way down. They have two smokes, so that's a little bit of a benefit to Vitality. They could try and smoke this off and at least get the bomb plant. But there's an edge there, and Config knows it, and that's an easy kill on Misuta. Now just spraying through wildly. 10 seconds. Attempted plant here, and I don't think Config even needs to try and stop it. It's still going to be a 2 on 3. Poison will take down Shocks, and now it's on RPK. He does have a Molotov, but I don't think that's going to help him yet. He'd have to play it for a while before he could even think about using it. Another close round, but Complexity survived with three. They're up to 14. They are so close to doing this, Jason. I mean, the nerves are surely going to be running high, and maybe especially on some of the young players here. I think the, 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 help, the most helpful thing, a lot of these clutches have just like, yeah, the nerves are going to be running high, but when you're when all these clutch situations that Vitality is getting into the lower bomb site, they've been 1v3s, they've been 2v4s, they've, you know, there's such an advantage for complexity. I think that's helping them remain calm so, so much. And for Vitality, it's got to be frustrating. You're cracking into the bomb sites, but it's so costly. And I don't know what happened in that previous round. Apex and Zaiwu pretty much offering themselves up to just be killed for free. That can't happen. No. I mean, look how close it gets. That's still kind of, even though there's a disadvantage, it's still kind of a winnable clutch in a two on three, two on four, to, even with two of your players going down for free. If Vitality can clean that stuff up early on, they can have a real chance. But look, it's got to start right now. There's four rounds left in this game. Complexity just two away from taking the championship. Obo back in the ramp. Poison and blame if outside this time. Config not gonna have really any backup down on the lower part of the map just yet, which is fine. Still early days. The wall of smokes is up though. Poison probably looking for a gap, but unable to find one. Ooh, damn. They get past just in time. I mean, they've been so good at hitting that B bomb side, even when they've been a man or two down. It makes so much sense for them to try and do it again. Ooh, nice flashbang. Poison. He's occupied with the distance shot. Not aware RPK. Oh, what a flick down! Rips off the head of RPK and straight into config we go. He adds one more kill and again, Vitality paying the blood price to get into this lower bomb site. And it's not gonna happen this time. Two on four shocks and Apex. They have to readjust. They would love to win a clutch. It's been it's been a lot of rounds where they've tried. Shocks has had a bunch of one versus threes. This time, at least, it's a 2 on 4 Turned into a 2 on 3 with a kill from Apex. Sneaking through the smoke. They have a shot at doing this. There's another smoke on Config, so they could try and smoke off that bomb and go for a defuse inside. There's Apex gone down, and once again, it's Shocks. He just can't catch a break. It's always him versus the world in this one. And he's going to be fighting out there all around him. They've got him trapped in here, and he'll get blown up by Oboe. Another round, 15 on the board. Complexity now on series point. They have almost done it. Series point, championship point, complexity. Three chances to close this out. Three chances to be the champion of the spring series at Blast Premier. The tough part, because it's been so close, the last four rounds have built up a full losing bonus for Vitality, and all four rounds have been plants. So Vitality have the cash, they have the utility, they have the weaponry. Yeah, struggle the whole way through. Some of these rounds are just so close, but now it starts with Blame if taking down Shocks, who just cannot catch a break. 
What a rough second half this has been for Shox. And Apex will clean it up, though, taking down Confake, who's the perennial uh, B bomb side defender. So they know that Oboe of next in line has fallen back from the ramp, and they're going to open it up. Straight headshot. Rush will take another one. It's looking real good for Complexity to maybe close this out. Oboe continuing the defense downstairs, and it's all on the suture. He's going to get dropped. It's